in this tutorial we will be covering the text concept let's start so to write a text at first I will set the font in which font my text should appear for that you have to click on annotations and click on this textile button then by default AutoCAD gives you standard style and Arial font is applied there you can ch change the font here or you can make your own style also by clicking on this new give the proper name to the style then click on ok then choose the font what you want suppose I want this Arial black then from here you can ok there is no other option available for Arial black then click on apply and close so in this way we have created one style so we want to create a text in that style for that click on this arrow and click on suppose we want to create a single line text at first so click on this single line then specify start point where you want to write then give the text height how much you want suppose I want text height of 2 then press enter and what is what uh, rotation angle you want suppose I want it 0 and press enter then write down what you want by clicking at other position also you can write it down to come out press enter two times then only come out and if I want to change the style of this what I have written then you have to select it and then click on annotation and from here you can select the style suppose I want the standard style so in this way you can change the style press escape to come out and uh, if I want to match the style of this two text with this then for that you can use match properties match properties then select source object se click on the destination object so then press enter to come out properties of this command uh, this text will be applied to this other text if you want to make any changes to this text just double click on it and make the changes whatever, whatever you want you can continue making the changes and you can come out by pressing enter two times so in this way you can come out from editing and if you want to change the height of this text then you have to click here on properties command then click on the text in which you want to make the changes and just drag it down so here is text, text uh, section you can change the content you can change the style then you can justification you can change the height from here suppose I want to make the height to be 4 then you can change the rotation angle also suppose I want it in 30 degree so in this way you can give the rotation angle or 0 then you can give the width factor also so using width factor only length will change height will remain the same suppose I want to stretch it so I will give it 2 so it will be stretch if I want it back then width factor will be 1 if I want to com compress it then give the value lesser than 1 suppose I give point for you then it will get compressed so one is the standard value then by giving oblique angle you can make it italic suppose I give a 30 degree so it will get slanted so in this way you can control the properties from here to come out click on this button and press escape so in this way you can change the height and other properties using properties command so this is all about single line text suppose if I want to create a multi line text then click on this text text then click on multi line text then you have to define a rectangle so he is asking me to specify first corner point and other point so you have to define the area in which in which area you want to write down multi line text so multi line text will be like a word document so you will be writing below one another so here you can write down whatever you want suppose I want notes
so from here you can change the style of all the doc all the text and he's change effect will all the text is giving you the warning say yes or by selecting individual you can change the height suppose I want height to be 3 then you can whatever is selected you can make it bold italic underline overline strike through is also there then you can make it uppercase or lowercase if you want to convert it into uppercase or lowercase that you can do from here then you can change the font what font you want suppose I want Arial Arial black then you can choose the color then if I select below two lines then from here you can give the number bullets you can give numbering you can give bullets or you can turn it off also from here you can control the line spacing from here how much line spacing you want that you can control from here then you can control the alignment center right left what alignment you want then if you want to put some special symbol here then from here you can put that so if I want diameter symbol so diameter is there and these are the shortcuts also if you are using single line text then you can use this shortcut to give the those text those symbol in that text or you can uh, give plus minus if some symbol is not available here you can go for this other option so it will bring the character map windows character map so from here you can go to windings windings font and you can choose the selected uh, choose the desired symbol I want this phone so select then copy then close it and right click and paste here so that symbol will be available here so you can give any symbol you want you can do undo and redo from here if you met, make some mistake you can from inside only you can do undo and redo so to come out you have to click on this close text editor so to edit just double click on it and you can edit the text written inside it and same way if you want to put this dia symbol and degree symbol in a single line text then click on single line text give the start point give the height give the rotation angle and for diameter you have to type there percent percent c if you want diameter symbol if you want degree symbol then you have to write percent percent d and if you want plus minus combined then you have to give percent percent p so in this way you you can give symbols also in single line text and if you want to give underlines then you have to put percent percent u from where you want to start the underline and if you want to limit the underline then at second position again you have to write down percent percent u so in this way you can control the underline in single line text also so press enter to come out so in this way you can use text concept in AutoCAD